Yeah. Good morning, children. How are you all? So I hope so. You are doing good. Uh, follow the safety rules. Uh, let's comes to the uh, subject biology. The in biology you are having uh, totally of units uh, six units. In that first unit is transport in plants. So how the transportation of nutrients, how the uh, water will transport, how the mineral will transport in plants and how they utilize it will be studied in this chapter and in this transport in plants you are having diffusion, osmosis, transpiration, structure and function of xylem and phloem and importance of minerals. So let us study in detail what is uh, what are the uh, organs that involve in transporting plants. You know transport. So here the transport, the word transport, what does it mean? So it means the movement from one place to other place. So which will happen in a usual life. So in the plants, so let's see what will happen and what, what are the other transportations that happens in plants. Transport in plants, you might have learned that plants can prepare their own food material by the process of photosynthesis. So what is this photosynthesis? What is this photosynthesis? Photo, light, synthesis, preparation. Photosynthesis will take place in plants. That is preparation of food materials. Preparation of food materials by their own. That will happen in plants by utilizing the sunlight so what how the photosynthesis will take place the process of preparation of food materials by utilizing the carbon dioxide water through sunlight it forms glucose it forms glucose that is food materials which are utilized by the plants so we, who will take part in the photosynthesis Obviously, who will take part? Leaves. Why? Because leaves are having a pigment that is known as chlorophyll, which is a green color pigment. That is why the leaves are green in color, which helps in the preparation of food materials. And you know, in human beings, we are also having one pigment that is nothing but hemoglobin which is a red color pigment and that is also called as respiratory pigment. So the leaves take in the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. The leaves what leaves do? Leaves absorbs or uh, leaves take in the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. The water along with the minerals is absorbed from the soil through the roots and then it is transported to upwards that is to the from stem to the leaves. So let us study about this transportation in plants in detail. So transport in plants. Transportation in plants is the process in which substance absorbed or synthesized. So once again I am insisting the words absorbed or synthesized in one part of the plant or moved to the other parts of the plant. So if you see here is a picture of a plant. You know that the uh, plant is having roots, leaves, branches and this will come from your childhood onwards. You know that you might be very clear of plant parts. So here absorbed. Who will absorb? Roots. Root function is what? To absorb the minerals water and nutrients from the soil and then it is transported and then it is transported to the leaves who will transport from root to the leaves stem so stem from stem to the leaves and these are this is absorption and synthesized synthesizing when the once the nutrients pass to the leaf there it will synthesize the food material and again from one part of the plant are moved to the other parts from again the synthesized food is transported to the other parts of the plant so if you see the plant here we are having a plant parts so plant part first there are two systems one is root system and one is shoot system. Root system the parts which grow below the ground below the ground and shoot system the parts which grow above the ground. Root system we are having two types of root system one is tap root system and one is lateral roots that is also called as a, called as a mother roots mother roots so two types of root system tap root and lateral roots and come to the shoot system so shoot system we are having a parts of 
stem, branches, leaves and flowers. So here shoot system we are having two types of shoot system. One is vegetative shoot and one is reproductive shoot. So you know plants, some plants will not produce flowers and flu, uh, that uh, flowers are not the reproductive organs in some plants. Those, uh, this vegetative shoot is only a reproductive one. So for example, if you take potato or uh, rhizomes, rhizomes like uh, uh, ginger or turmeric for them the flower will not a reproductive one so for them vegetative things i mean vegetative shoot is only the reproductive one in the vegetative shoot we are having nodes and internodes and coming to the birds there are two types of birds one is apical bird and one is axillary bird and these all are the parts these all are the parts of a plant and so how this transportation will begin? From where it will begin? They begin at the root. Where they will begin? So transportation is begin. They begin at the root and then move up to the stem. Branches and leaves. The xylem tissue. The xylem tissue transports water and minerals from the roots to the leaves. So whereas phloem tissue transports food from leaves to the other parts of the plant. So here children there are two tissues which helps in the transportation. So once comes to the human body we have organs like heart, lungs, kidneys, the other digestive system, the other parts which helps the and the blood which transports the minerals, nutrients from one part to the other body, from one part to the other parts. So same way here in plants the parts that is tissues which helps in the transportation, which helps in the transportation. These are the organs, these are the organs which helps the plants to grow and which helps the plants to survive. So xylem tissue what it does is transports water and minerals. What xylem do? It transports water and minerals from roots to the leaves. Whereas phloem tissue transports food from leaves to the other parts of the plant. So if I will ask you the question, which tissue transports water and minerals from roots to leaves is xylem. And if I will ask you the question, which tissue transports food from leaves to the other parts of the plant is phloem tissue. Or my question, what is the function of a xylem? What is the function of a xylem tissue? So your answer and uh, I expect xylem tissue transports water and minerals from roots to the leaves. And if I will ask you the question, the other question, what is the function of phloem tissue? Phloem tissue transports food from leaves to the other parts of the plant. So when transpiration occurs in plants, water gets evaporated from the leaves. When transpiration occurs in the plants, water gets evaporated from the leaves through stomata through stomata so why this happens so children uh, this will be uh, discussed in the later class thank you children have a good day be safe